Hi, I'm here in front of my resume bike, and as you can see, there's no seat on it because I took off the old seat, and I got a new seat in the mail from BicycleSeats.com. This is the Easy Seat 2 Deluxe. It's the dual pad seat, and I'm going to do an unboxing and review, and I'm going to show it to you right now. Okay, BicycleSeats.com was kind enough to send me another seat for my bike. And uh, we're going to open it up right now and see what we got. All right, so here we go. All right. Okay, inside the box we have a packing slip. And... All right, here it is, the Easy Seat 2. Okay, so this is the seat out of the box. We'll take a closer look at this. Uh, let's turn it around the other side. And you see it has uh, two rails. Now it does not come with the uh, clamp for the seat, but I just happen to have one. And this is the clamp that just has to be mounted to the rails. And I'll show you how we do that. But uh, let's take a closer look at this seat. Okay, I'll bring it up here. You see it has uh, a dial, and you can dial the width of the seat. See, when I turn the dial, you can do it. You can even reach it from, from the other side when you open it wider. See, now it's, it's getting wider as I turn that. See, and you can reach from the top. So this is adjustable while it, after it's mounted on the bike. And there is also a, um, a set screw right here. After you have it to your position, if you want, you could lock it in place with the set screw right there. So I have a clamp that I took apart from an old bike seat. And I, when you take apart all the pieces of the clamp, it, it, uh, it's all mixed up but it's pretty easy to do. So we, so we want, this is the front of the bike, of the bike seat facing the camera. So what do we want to do is we want to put the opening so it should be ending up like this where the opening is towards the front. We have to take this and put it to there like that. And then we take the other one, see? And then put it on the other side over here. See, it's like um, serrated, it's like grooves there. So when it comes apart, you put the groove to the groove. And then you have to hold it like that. See? I'm gonna to try to put it together. Okay. So maybe if I put this to the rail first. I actually never, I never did this before. before. And uh, I'm sure you can tell. Uh, okay, so this goes like that. Okay, so when you do it this way, it's kind of easier. Now, I got the nose to the front, luckily. <laughs> and now you got to put the, uh, this part, got to go through, through the hole on both sides. I got it through one side. Okay, now I'm going to turn it around and see if I can get it to come through the other side. Okay, let's see. Oop, I got it through. Okay, you see how, how that goes? How easy that was? <laughs> All right, so I got that through there. Now, um, this part goes here, and you get the bolt coming through, and you screw that on like that. Oop, you don't have to screw it so far. You screw it on a little bit, so you have room on the other side. All right. Now I got this part going here like that. If you can see that, see how it goes like that. Now I got to loosen it up on the other side so I can push more through here. 
Okay, now this is on. So now that I got the clamp on, I could slide it to the front, or I could slide it to the, to the back, put it a little bit like in the center, and then you could adjust the tilt. And then after it's on the bike, you just tighten these down. Okay, now that we got the clamp mounted to the rails, I'm going to uh, mount the seat on the um, Resume Custom Adapter. So it just slides right on with the front, towards the front, naturally. Now I could slide the rails back or forward. So I'm gonna just move it a little bit, not all the way back, just eyeballing it. And I'll just have the seat just level or tilted slightly back. And then we just use uh, the socket wrench and, uh, and tighten on the bolts. Okay, right down there. Okay, you gotta make sure this is securely tightened. You want it to be very tight so it doesn't fall off while you're riding. Okay. Okay, that should be very secure. And you see, now you can, you can adjust the, uh, the width of the, of the seat even after it's on the bike. There's room underneath to put your finger and turn it. Okay, now we have the seat all the way closed. And all the way closed, it measures just about nine inches. Okay, so now let's open her up all the way. Okay, so I'm opening it up all the way. And you can see it's getting wider. And I'm just turning it. Now that's all the way. And now we're gonna measure it again. And see when I measure it now, it's about 10 inches. So it lets you change the width. I'm gonna keep it midway for a starting point. I haven't tried this before yet. So I'm just gonna put it like midway. Well, you know, this not completely narrow, just like in the middle, so there's some space I can fit my thumb in there, like that. Okay, now let's give it a try. Um, oh, one other thing I wanna show you is that you know th these get, have some give to them. So when you're sitting on it, you see this, this, this goes back and forth. See, these sides can go independent from each other. See, like that, see? So when you're sitting on it, they flex. Okay, now that the seat is mounted on the bike, Let's give it a whirl. Okay, so let's go for it, hopping on. All right, now first impression, feels good. Yep, it's supporting my weight. Um, you know, it's amazing that the seat is so small and, it, and, it, and, it, and, it, and, and I'm able to sit on it. You know, it feels actually like I'm hardly sitting on anything. Um, yeah, now, I didn't really adjust this. It, it's at the medium width. I could make it wider if I wanted to. I could tilt it forward, I could tilt it back, but now it's medium width and I have it like flat or slightly tilted back. Now I can feel the, the pads uh, doing their thing as they pedal. And so far, you know, I'm only riding it for like a minute now. It feels, uh, it feels decent, you know? I don't feel any discomfort. You know, the, the, the true test is going to be after I'm doing it like for a while. And then I could report back to you. All right, well, there you have it. That was my review of the Easy Seat 2 Deluxe uh, that was sent to me by BicycleSeats.com. So I want to thank everybody for watching this video. And uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I like the seat, so I give it two thumbs up. And uh, keep an eye on the comment section of the video and the Steve forum, the Steam forums. If uh, there's anything uh, that I discover with the seat, you know, as I, as I get to use it, get to know it a little bit more, I'll post um, my comments in there and let you know how, how, how it's going. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, or did I say that already, and I'm out of here. Okay. So we're going to turn on the bike and pedal forward. Lean left and right to navigate the menus and steer in the games.
Okay, I'm riding on the easy seat for 10 minutes now and it feels fine. Feels like a knee's a little getting used to. And I'm playing Thunderball Tanks. And we have a live player on here. Oh, and he's a mech. And I'm playing as a tank. And it's hard to beat a, a mech when you're riding a tank. Now I've still got 10 minutes on the session here. And let me see if I can find, let me find another player here. Okay, there he is. Oh, he's all the way down there. He's got a shield. Oh, I gotta get a shield. Oh, he's getting me, oh, I got shot again, oh. Okay. I was killed by Orange Julie. Orange Julie got me. Oh man, playing again. Okay, let me get that orange jelly guy. There he is. Okay, got one shot. He's got too many lives. Oh, there's a shield for me. Got the shield. Got him. Alrighty, I killed orange jelly. Haha. <laughs> Alright, orange jelly. Try to get me again. See you next time. Orange Julie just joined the, the game. All right. Now I'm 11 minutes into the session here on the easy seat. And it feels good. <laughs>